I've done a challenge video in the right order where I actually made the challenge and I can give you the skeleton code first. So let, let's take a look at this and then we'll, we'll take a look at the solution video afterwards. The challenge for this is to make a program that simulates that DVD bouncing thing around uh, the, the screen when, I don't know, old DVD players used to go into a screensaver mode. So we don't have while loops yet, so we're just gonna use the on mouse move or on mouse drag. When we run the program, it starts out with a black screen with DVD. As I move the mouse, and this is just simulating, you know, a while loop, which I guess you don't know because we haven't talked about while loops yet. But as I move the mouse, I'm going to be changing the X and the Y of the, of the DVD label over there. And as it hits the edges of the screen, it's just going to bounce off. And as we keep moving, it changes colors as well as it bounces off. And we don't know randomness yet, so I just have it bouncing in a set pattern. I guess there's enough... Ooh, almost hit the corner there. There's enough mm, variations of how this works where it, it looks kind of random, but it is always just changing the by the same amount. I don't have it like every time I hit, I select a random number and then it uh, changes its trajectory slightly. And yeah, so that's the sample of what you should make it look like. It doesn't need to be the exact same numbers as it bounces off. You don't need to have the exact same colors, but the idea is to try and make it have this pretty cool thing. And again, notice it's on mouse move. That's why I have to keep moving my mouse as I'm doing this. As soon as I stop, it stops moving. So that is the, the challenge for you. I do have skeleton code for you here. So let's take a look at what I gave you. And then you can always access this in the uh, description at the bottom of the video. I hope I didn't just hit back there. Okay. So for this, I've created, I think quite a bit for you actually. Usually my challenge is I'm just like, hey, make this thing. And then, uh, you know, I let it go. So for this, I created the, the black background for you. I created the global variable DVD and what it looks like at first. And I even created the custom properties that I think you should be using for this. So I gave it a move X property that will hold on to how it's moving as, as it moves in the X direction. A move Y, so it'll hold its velocity that holds its velocity in the y direction i have a color count feel free to come up with a better way to change the color than i did it's definitely not the most elegant i mean we're using global variables right like nothing's going to actually be great here <clears throat> excuse me our next thing that i want to point out is the on mouse move function we're not going to use the x and the y it's just as long as i'm moving we're going to do it and i maybe i shouldn't have given you this whatever as I move, I'm just going to, oh, yeah, it would have been nice to let you guys figure this out. Whatever. I mean, uh, who, what, I, I don't know. On mouse move, I'm going to change its center X to be equal to plus equal to incrementing the DVD dot move X. So as while the value is positive, I'm going to be adding plus five to it every time. And the, my video is mirrored, so it's not going to be perfect, but I'd be adding plus five to it each time. So as I move my mouse, the DVD thing would be moving to the right. If I add, right, I'm adding a negative, well, that'll end up subtracting, right? So this way I don't need to worry about changing the increment or anything like that in an if statement to a decrement. I can just change my move X or my move Y. I already have a functioning for you so that as I hit the right edge of the screen, it'll bounce back. So let's see what we have so far as I run this. What we gave you so far is boom, that bounced, but then I don't have anything to check of how it's just gonna go off the top of the screen and be gone forever. So it's your job to add extra if statements here so that it, it bounces off appropriately. And if you wanna do that bonus of changing the color, I created a helper function, function for you to do that in, but I didn't give you anything about that. Um, I think that's about it. I didn't read all my comments, but I hope I did an okay job describing the skeleton code that I've given you and describing the task that you have ahead of yourself if you try to do this without checking the solution video out. And yeah, good luck with it.